Section 8, Clause 17 of the Constitution out of Article 1. We've also got County Commissioner says Bundy supporters better have funeral plans. Uh, that's a Democrat in response to people who've had 140 plus years of the grazing rights to the property. They just tell them the answer is death. You know, the answer is they better be ready to die. Uh, meanwhile, Republican uh, commissioners and the state legislatures are calling it the new Tiananmen Square. They attacked more people yesterday, more attacks, more tasers, more women attacked. Uh, that's just some of the news. Uh, BLM, feds assault more protesters. It's First Amendment area taken down. That's all up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. The right-hand side of Drudge also is covering it uh, in great detail. And uh, I'm told a bunch of armed militia has shown up. And I'm all for the militia. And I'm sure this is probably a nice militia. Uh, I have been made aware of some uh, folks in and around the area that have been well <clears throat> identified uh, previously as uh, troublesome. Uh, and I would just say that just because someone says they're in the militia does not necessarily mean that it's not a federal provocateur arm. And again, I'm not talking about any of the specific players here. I'm just saying that if I was the feds, I would insert provocateurs into it as propaganda uh, to then be able to demonize the larger land rights movement. And I'm not saying that's happening here, but uh, certainly folks need to be watchful for those type of activities. Uh, but several militias uh, have, have shown up in the area, and I'm sure they're great. I support the militia under the Second Amendment the people to be armed, and uh, I think folks that, you know, go there for self-defense should be armed. I do not think that anyone should start something offensively with the BLM. When they taser women, when they body slam women, when they attack people for the First Amendment, they lose, and Congress, the Senate, the state is all turning against the feds right now. And quite frankly, if people follow Mahatma Gandhi, we would hope that the BLM would actually club people in the head on camera and that would destroy them and reverse their entire land grab movement. If a firefight breaks out, well then that might be the shot heard around the world and we're into the civil war Obama wants to play Lincoln and the guy on the white horse saving everybody. And then they're gonna start race wars and all other forms of division in this country. I wanna avert that folks. Homeland Security's lined up for a race war, lined up for a takeover, the whole pump's primed so the Attorney General can commit any crime he wants, and if you criticize him, you're a racist, as we just played earlier. Now, we're joined for the next 10 minutes, and I'll get into all the huge news from Senator Sessions and others, Sebelius resigning. Uh, they're from the town and, and the county bordering Arizona. They're in Nevada. Here's CBS News. Expect to see a band of soldiers. Militia members arrive at Nevada Ranch. Uh, county commissioner says Bundy supporters better have funeral plans. Uh, militias mobilizing to support in battle Clark County rancher in clash with federal rangers. And again, if they're real militia, which I bet they are, I think they're heroes. I just hope they conduct themselves like the men at Bunker Hill. Okay, uh, you know, don't fire first, but if they mean to have a war, then it'll start here. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. But I just don't want to see us pull the trigger first. Let's go now to Cliven Bundy. Sir, um, thank you for talking to us. I know you're relaying messages to him there. Uh, get an update from him, what he thinks about the militias, new attacks on citizens. Is Cliven Bundy concerned about physical clashes? And then uh, I want him to have the floor to talk about any new developments. Mr. Bundy, Alex wants to know if you're concerned about militias here and any clashes. What, what's your attitude about uh, people showing up here? I'm not concerned about people showing up here. I actually welcome them. We need numbers. We need to... We need people of America to show up here and uh, exercise their rights. Uh, I am not telling anybody to come, and I'm not telling anybody anything what they're supposed to do, except the governor and the sheriff of Clark County. Uh, I'll tell them what they ought to be doing. What, what would you tell them to do? <laughs> well, I'd tell the governor, I'd say, hey, you back up Nevada law, and you take care of your uh, brand inspector, the Department of Agriculture. They're supposed to be protecting my property, not destroying them, not... Uh, signing uh, my name on the bottom of uh, brand certificates. And and you have recovered a couple more head of cattle today, haven't you? Some people from out of state came in and got some back for you, didn't they? Yes, we got a, a cowboys here on the ranch, and they're ranching. They're putting cattle in here. We're working them, branding them, and doing what we normally do. Uh, we'll wean some cattle and probably sell some cattle. And then we're going to continue to have a ranch operation going on, and the rest of you can join in and enjoy it. 
And I think that's one of the key things, isn't it, is that you're concerned that the sheriff, as well as the governor, are not doing what they could do to de-escalate this and to really do their jobs to enforce the law. They have the law enforcement authority here, not the BLM. I've, I've never seen the BLM even on any ballots to, to see if I uh, agree with any of their policies. You know, the, the Constitution is a supreme law of the land. If you read the Constitution, it don't say anything about the United States Army being here dealing with my private property or your citizen rights and access to your public land. If I was the governor of the United States, or not, the governor of the state of Nevada, I'd tell these people, get out of my state. Get your army out of my state. You have no jurisdiction or authority here. That's right. And there's nothing in the Constitution either about endangered species. Essentially, the Tenth Amendment says if they don't specifically mention it, then the, authority, the federal government doesn't have authority to do that. If people want to do something about endangered species, that really should happen at the state or local level, shouldn't it? Well, it should be. We're, we're, our custom and culture, our lifestyle is here. But you know how the United States get involved with endangered species through the treaty acts with other countries. And that's if come. this tortoise was bought out of a, a, a pet store in Las Vegas, it would probably come under the Endangered Species Act. In other words, it's a, a commerce between two countries. But what about this desert tortoise that never crossed into Mexico or even crossed the state line? It's here in Nevada, been here in Nevada. The Endangered the Species Red Herring. Act is not involved. David, I want to... It don't qualify. Sure. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Alex. Alex uh, no, uh, just ask uh, uh, the rancher uh, at the center of this, if he just joined us out in Nevada, Mr. Bundy, ask him to recap what's happened since we talked to him yesterday. More videos, more assaults. You guys got video of that. Uh, more uh, feds arriving. The feds have now brought... More BLM out of uh, Arizona in, calling it an emergency. Uh, uh, David, uh, get him to give us a report on the latest developments. We hear reports that they brought in more BLM out of Arizona, calling it an emergency. Last night, we had a couple of people get tasered and uh, beat up and detained for a while and then, and then released. Uh, what have you heard about what's going on today? Well, I know BLM had a gathering uh, of my cattle with the helicopters and armed forces around the Lake Mead area. I had some cattle on the west side of Lake Mead, and they were gathering those cattle. The protesters went down while I was trying to load those cattle and uh, protested. Evidently, there was, uh, I don't know what really happened, but there was at least three people arrested. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what ever happened to those people, whether they're in their jails or whether they turned them loose. I don't know. Well, we went down. There were three people together. Uh, they essentially detained. They didn't officially arrest two of them for quite some time, but they roughed them up pretty good. Are and, the feds uh, acting more imperious and, and arrogant and aggressive now, or have they backed down? I mean, what what, what is, is your sense? Is what your is sense the bearing of them? Are getting more aggressive or uh, backing down or staying? So, saying the same. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you, they backed down around uh, this protest area and around the. Uh, ranch headquarters i don't see their presence their uh, snipers and stuff are off the hills or can they still have uh, surveillance cameras out i know that so our presence around here we the people have come and pro the protesters they have really made me feel a lot better about america right here but they're still doing their dirty work at distance part places on my ranch like ye yesterday they're around long uh, lake mead area overton beach they were still taking my cattle, and when the protesters found that out, they moved into that area, and of course, some got hassled. We got some pictures yesterday from one of your sons. I was here, and uh, as they came in, he had some pictures of uh, some snipers, I think, somewhere. Where was that taken? Uh, those snipers have been all the way around my ranch. I don't know for sure exactly what pictures, but I, I've seen pictures where they, we see the snipers on top of the hills. Yes, That's when they was... assaulted his son is when he got the photos uh, of the paramilitary forces waging war on us. Yeah, everybody has, has, has said that, and when we were down just at the protest area, they had some very close buttes, and they said they had some guys training rifles on them from up there just at that short range. But I haven't seen any since I've been here because uh, the, the, the demonstrators have pretty much scared them all off. That's right. Yeah, uh, that's again, right. let me talk and about what the legislator said when he's done. Are those, uh, hang, hang on a second. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Alex. No, no, just, just, just questions. Ask him about the legislators, what he thought about what they said, what he thinks about U.S. senators and people saying this looks like tyranny, looks like Tiananmen Square. You know, get him to talk about that and then them destroying uh, the water pipes and 100-year-old water cisterns that the cows and wildlife are living out there that humans have improved. Alex wanted me to ask you about the uh, encounter last night with a couple of state legislatures, uh, legislators that got kind of contentious. Uh, what do you think about their approach so far and also about these 
uh, water cisterns and, and that they destroyed uh, the other night. Well, the politicians, you know, what can you say about them? Uh, I didn't really get involved. I stayed away be because I, on purpose, you know, the, these cat, these uh, protesters were getting arrested at the same time the politicians were talking. And my advice, and this is what I said to my sons and everything, I said, why in the hell don't they go down there and take care of this problem and then come back and tell us? That's right. And yeah. anyway, that wasn't what happened. They was making a lot of noise. And I, was, I actually left and didn't really keep up with what went on there. But that was my thing. Why don't you go solve this problem and then come back and preach to us? That's what I, I said. I said on air yesterday, he didn't hear me, but you were asking the question. I said if I was the politicians, I would become statesmen. They should have marched down and said, we're the state. Stop what you're doing. Let them have their grazing rights. You're a fraud. They'd be superstars. These politicians have no instincts. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Alex is saying they ought to march 